A matchup from the American League Central. It's the Minnesota Twins against the Chicago White Sox. 2K Sports presents Major League Baseball. Will they be able to limit the bat of Carlos Quinton? Well, we're going to find out. We're set to go. From the American League Central, it's Chicago, Minnesota, with the White Sox at home. It's the middle of August. We welcome you to 2K Sports MLB. The starting pitching, we'll see Jared Washburn. So Steve, how's he going to handle these Minnesota bats today? Oh, sending a good lefty to the mound in this ball game here, but this is a great lineup, a lineup that can really beat up even some of the best pitchers in the game. So he's going to have to be on top of his game in order to do it and rely upon that movement on his pitches. Pepsi presents our starting lineups. Here's a look at the Twins. Our leadoff hitter is Denard Spann. The Minnesota Twins. Right fielder, number two, Denard Spann. Washburn set and delivers. Beckham. So Span is set down. Now a quick look for this game at the White Sox and how they are positioned on the field. So Steve, any individual stand up? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. And it's Delman Young now. Lifetime, 231 off Jared Washburn. And this at bat already 0-1. First pitch. Hit in the air to left center. And that one's going to drop in. That's their first hit. Not even close with that throw, and he's on it first. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one in hits. A lineup that puts the ball in play, finds holes, and gets themselves on base. A real bonus to scoring runs. Just missed with a fastball. 1-0. Swing and a drive, deep left center. Damon. And he meanders over to put it away. Well, he hit this one well, but it hangs up long enough to give the left fielder just enough time to run underneath and make the catch. And Michael Kadaya up. Two outs and a man on first. Watches the off-speed pitch. Ends up 0-1. And Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. Washburn set and delivers. Now swing and a shot toward second. Throw on to second base. Force play. Side retires. Though so Jared Washburn holding those runs down. Works his way out of the first inning without allowing anyone to score. And the White Sox, their first chance is coming. And Carl Pavano gets ready to throw. Minnesota has him starting. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? Well, this matchup for the pitcher, not the best matchup for him. So he really has to limit base runners right now. Don't give this quality lineup too many opportunities to score runs. And it's Johnny Damon now. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. One game after another, they really do not seem stoppable right now. They're just piling up the W's. When you want to talk about a team that is white hot, these guys are world beaters right now. I can't remember the last time they lost the ball game. He swings on a pitch. That was in the dirt. That's a strike. Whoa. John, they are playing at a high level, uh, not only because of the W's, but because of the way they're executing on the field. Yeah, and you throw all the odds out right now. They're definitely the team to beat in baseball. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Slider swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. Well, this one here was no doubt about it. The late break on that slider. I mean, what a devastating pitch, and the hitter just couldn't catch up. It's up against the wall on the bounce. And he ends up at second. That's a double. Well, this could be the start right here if this offense needed in this inning. A nice double right there with only one away. This could ignite this offense, and possibly big things could happen. And here's Paul Canerco, leading the league in home run. First pitch way out of the zone, ball one. 
Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. At the belt, the 1 0. Swing and a miss. Canerco not making contact. That'll even up the count. Well, this is just one of those pitches right there that he had a chance to put in play, but his indecisiveness caused him to hesitate. And when you hesitate, you are lost, especially in the batter's box. The 1 2 on its way. And Paul Canerco watching that one go by to even the count up. I saw the ball well last night, picking up two base hits in that game. The pitch. Tough pitch to lay off that time. Full count, 3 2. A two seam fastball, such an effective pitch. One, because it gets ground ball outs, but two, it sets up. There's a swing, a ball hit high, deep, straight away left field. And so they jump out to the 2 0 lead. Wow, what a great time for a two run shot like that. Two run score on the long ball. That graph tells us the story. We look at our Pepsi WPA graph. A oh, great piece of hitting right there. He turns on that one, rotates the hips, and drives the ball. And that's going to give them the lead here and an early lead. Let's we'll see if they can tack on a few more here in the first and put the pressure on. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. And yeah, we've got offense here in the first inning just the way they wanted to start this ball game. Well, the pitching's going to have to settle down here. Now, I know it's early, but you don't want this thing to spiral out of control. You're out. Strike three. Quentin on a swing and a miss. He's out. Just drops that one in there. Good break on it. 83 miles per hour. It's down in the zone, but it's definitely a hittable pitch. Looks like the pitcher just caught him looking for something else, and it threw off his timing. Outstanding work right there, John. And... Uh, for the rest of the lineup, maybe they'll be second guessing the next time around when they face him, especially with two strikes. Throws to first side is retired. And it didn't take long. Our first two runs, first inning, trouble coming. The White Sox lead two to nothing. Middle of the lineup, do up. And Kubel's in the box. Sixteen, Jason Kubel. Good rip on that one, but he missed it on one. He's averaged 298 lifetime against the White Sox. Taps this one foul to the right. Washburn set and delivers. Oh, yeah. And he fouls off another one. Well, you're told with an 0-2 count to spread out your stance and to choke up on the bat so you can put the ball in play. Oh. Better control of the bat. And that's what he did right there, that 0-2 pitch, just barely getting enough of it to put it in foul territory so he can continue this at bat. Hit on the ground, up the middle. Back up. Oh. And that'll set down Google. Here's the Central Division race as it stands going into the dog days of summer. Brought to you by State Farm. It's the White Sox in first, second place the Royals. Twins in the third spot. In the fourth spot, it's the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. Now, the longer the Minnesota Twins stay in the middle of the pack in this division, the more difficult it's going to be to live up to the expectations they had coming into this season. J.J. Hardy up. That's him out with a curveball for a strike. That is a strike. Hardy now lean out over that plate to protect. On the ground to second. Back up. So Hardy is set down. Second base, number 20. Colbert at the plate. A lifetime 290 hitter against the White Sox. This one swung on line towards the middle. And that's by him in the center base hit. Well, two quick Minnesota outs in the inning. You think maybe this is one of those quick innings and the other team gets in and they get some momentum. But he keeps the inning alive with that base hit. 
And Brighty's batting. That one's lined softly towards the gap left center. And it's through. That's a base hit. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Steve, not a lot of lefties who necessarily want to go the other way. Great job on that at bat. Oh, exceptional. Went with where the ball was pitched. He fought it off inside and drove it. Hunto at the plate. And through into center field. And he's in there. Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big time momentum. Denard Span. Well, that's three consecutive hits he's given up. He can't be out of gas yet. He just has to bear down and get somebody out. They don't want to go to the bullpen this early in the game. And they've asked for a time out here, and the pitching coach is on his way out to the mound. Well, they've got to be considering a change right here. Time for a little heart-to-heart -heart and get a sense of where this pitcher is. Two men on, two men out. First pitch to Span. Oh, Fastball one. in there. 0 and 1. Career average 337 off the White Sox. Check swing on that pitch, but it found the zone anyway. 0 and 2. Swung on, line softly towards right center. And it's in there. The Minnesota Twins will score. So Minnesota continues their offense. Center fielder number 21, Delman Young. That's a really good pitch, Steve, on an 0-2 offering to keep that down and in. That's a perfect pitcher's pitch. At this point, you've got to tip your hat to the batter. That's a solid job. Oh, and he takes off for second. There's the throw. Save at third. Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. Well, that's important early in the ball game. You want to make this into a seesaw battle. That's what they've done. Are you going to be all right with a seesaw battle? Sometimes that makes you nauseous. You're going to feel okay? okay. Ended this inning with a nice piece of pitching work as he gets the K. Well, they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. We've got a stalemate going here in Chicago. And Alex Rios to lead off. Center fielder. Number 51, Alex Rios. Swing shoots this one towards the gap, right center. All the way to the wall. So with nobody out, he's awarded second after that double. Number 12, AJ Brzezinski. Well, great hitters get hits at just the right time. And this double right here with no one down is a nice leadoff hit to get the offense rolling early here in this inning. It's going to be Przinski. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. And it's fouled away. Wow. Here's the delivery. Now Pavano, a few pitches to work with, 0-2. Swing and a miss. That's a changeup. Down on strikes, 1-0. They made it look easy right there. Slicing and dicing, just attacking the strike zone. Three pitches, all for strikes, sitting out. Martian looking to knock in a run. Right there on the top. Swing and a hot shot. Base hit, maybe two. Rios will head to the plate. Here's what the Twins have in store. Thursday, they will finish up the Chicago series. From home cooking again, they return to host the Oakland A's. That should be a great series. They really match up well. That's a three-game series. And then they'll be going up against Alex Rios in the White Sox. That team really looking to shore things up after a disappointing play recently. Lots of home games. That's always a good thing. Here's a chance to capitalize RBI for Jim Tomey. What a year for him. Top five in homers. That swung on, line towards the gap in left center. And they can't cut it off. It'll roll to the wall. He comes in to score, and they're going to get the lead. The throw, tagged at home, and he is out of there. 
Leave a pitch over the center of the plate like that, you're going to pay for it. Oh, no doubt about it. Big leaguers take advantage of those kinds of mistakes. So Johnny Damon thinks RBI. What we're seeing here is just a great push. Been able to jump out in front. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. This one rolls through to the wall. And the throw, the run scores. Situations repeating themselves here. A chance to produce, and they are. Alexi Ramirez. Well, now after giving up three straight hits, the manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up in the pen. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Flied to right. So that puts Paul Canerco at the plate. Number Great hitting and poor pitching. I'm not sure which. He may be running out of gas, but that's now four straight hits against him. Not looking real good. But you talk about a veteran presence in the middle of the lineup. Paul Canerco has been one of the more consistent power hitters in baseball over the last eight to ten years. He's a guy that just does it in a calm, quiet way. He doesn't put up the huge monster numbers, but he puts up the consistent numbers every year. But he also loves to get that big hit. Let's see if he can deliver one here in this one. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. That one a one hopper off the wall. And Damon comes in. Ramirez around third, headed for the plate. And he's in as well. This lineup just feeding off itself in this ball game. Opportunities and execution. I tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steven, looked like he might have been guessing down there. Swing and a ball hit high in the air. Deep right field. And bye-bye. That's a two-run home. Couple more to the lead now, a home run and a six run lead. You know, Gary, they're not bunching them together. That is the second home run they've hit off him in this game. He may be taking a look at a sequence of pitchers right now. Well, they're going to have to get it together, the pitcher and catch. Chicago White Sox. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They Number just keep getting big hits. Jordan Beckham. The first pitch. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. And Steve, you give up that big fly ball, now trailing further in this one. Pitcher's got to find a way to shut this down right now. Well, that's right. Listen, now with the bases empty, you've got to get in your mind that you're starting over and get out. You're out. And he struck him out. The side is finally retired. So for Carl Provano, just could not find a way to get out of the jam. He's allowed two home runs. Up next, it'll be the Twins. And the three hole will be coming right up. A look at the manager, Ozzie Guillen. All right, now his lineup is in Joe overdrive. Uh, exciting bit of run production. A good way to keep your manager happy. Joe Maurer leading it off. And Maurer ready for the first pitch. Way out there with the curveball, 1 and 0. And he looks at a curveball then there, 1 and 1. That one gets passed, but no damage done. He's ready and Washburn head up the middle. That's a huge out right there. You think maybe you're not going to get to it. He's able to make a tremendous play out of Gary. And Michael Kadaya up. Bounced into a fielder's choice his last time. Here's the first pitch. Catcher gets a hold of that one in the dirt. And Prezinski calls for the pitch. 
and this is inside, and that hit him hard. Now, when you get hit with a curveball, it doesn't hurt so much. Plus, you get first base. And that'll bring up Jason Kubel. Oh, Gary, we see that guy get hit with a pitch. I mean, sometimes, listen, as a pitcher, you just lose the grip on the ball. It doesn't come out of your Great hand box. the right way. You end up hitting somebody. And the uh, first pitch was a strike. Got him at 0 1. Now, here's a grounder towards the hole. And that'll put Kubel on first. At the Great the opportunity for Minnesota. Shortstop. Gotta like the aggressiveness KJ on the bases right there. He was thinking third base all the way. As soon as he saw it go through the infield, he said, I'm going to third. And it's J.J. Hardy at the plate. He's batted 0 for 11 over his career off the White Sox. Washburn set and delivers. Gets hit foul by Hardy. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And it gets through. Hardy hitting an RBI. Boy, this lineup, they are hot right now. The chances, they are productive. So now the Pepsi WPA graph will show us the difference that run batted in made. First pitch to him. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. And you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter if you're way ahead of the game. Oh. Line drive. That's foul towards first. That's swung on and a liner here. Two away. And that will hold the runners at the corner. And Brady's batting. Fastball in there for a called strike. Well, purpose pitch right there. He gets the strike on it, goes up and in, and it opens up the entire strike zone now. 1-1 one, one pitch is a cut fastball taken for a strike, one and two. Swung on, line softly toward the left side. And that ends the half inning as Ramirez makes the play. Jared Washburn coming off the mound. And it'll be the White Sox. All lit up here at U.S. Cellular Field on this beautiful night for a game. Alex Rios. And Alex Rios to lead off. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. And he starts Rios out towards the middle. And that one is in there, his second hit today. Look now at the hottest bats. State Farm, our leaderboard for the highest batting average over the last 10 games. All of these guys, quality contact hitters. And, you know, when you're that kind of a hitter, it means that you can hit any kind of pitch the pitcher throws, and you're using the whole field. You're hitting it where it's pitched. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. Oh, and one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. There's the delivery. Hot shot towards the hole. The dive, he's got it. And it's in time from his knees to get the out. This is an acrobatic play worth another look to get that out. Well, look how quickly he gets to his knees. That's body control. Terrific effort. Martian looking to knock in a run. In the top ten in hits. First one to T in. Here's the pitch. Swing sets this one pretty well. Deep right center. And it's off the wall in right center. He throws. T in going to third. And Rios comes in. And safe. He's in there. He's getting done all season long, Gary, and a guy they're really looking to counter. This one comes in from right field. This is the longest throw on the diamond, and he almost got it. Well, when he hit it in right field, he made a decision himself that he could go free. He went hard around first, turned up in the second gear, and cruises into third base. Here's a chance to capitalize RBI for Jim Tully. And the offense here is putting on the show right now. They're in charge of this ball game. Well, after that quality at bat, I mean, this offense just landing some serious body blows on this pitcher in this game. Boy, you see this get started. It only builds confidence in the hitters. Here's the pitch. There's a swing, line drive, center field. That one's going to fall in, and Tian gets driven home. 
off the plate with the Chicago White Sox. Well, a great piece of work right there to get that Number double and put himself in scoring position. Johnny he got a Gale. fastball and took a good rip at it. Nice short, compact swing. So a runner in scoring position for Johnny Damon. Well, this offense is having one of those days. Wow, are they putting some numbers up. Boy, with so many runs here, this thing is getting away from it. It's turning into an absolute route, Gary. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Yeah, well, though, we talked about having a mercy rule sometimes. It's a, it's a joke, but in games like this, maybe there ought to be one. Well, the mercy rule may ultimately be the umpire expanding the strike zone. Let's see if it starts to change it. Comes off the wall and left. There's the throw. And they score him. At the plate for the Chicago well, That's three consecutive hits he's given up. He can't be out of gas oh, yet. He just has to bear down and get somebody out. They don't want to go to the bullpen this early in the game. Here it comes. Hit hard to second. Colbert. And so Ramirez retires. Take a peek here at the league home run leader, Scooter C of State Farm. Well, it's such an asset to an offense when you hit the ball in the ballpark, and these guys are clearly so important to their team. That ability to drive in a run from first base or to drive yourself in from the plate. He starts Canerco out. There's a swing high and deep into center field. Way, way back there. Out of here. A homer and a two-run shot. Two-run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Two outs and nobody on. On the way, he gets Quentin to swing, strike one. Well, you know that taco you had before the game, Steve? Yeah. I think uh, I think we've got a full fiesta going early in this one. I think that we do, and, and now you're getting me hungry just thinking about it. Hit sharply towards the hole. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in hits. And he's also first in on-base percentage. That knack of getting on base better than anybody else. He can spoil a pitcher's pitch, work the count. He knows the strike zone extremely well. Take something off, and it swung on and missed. 0-1. Well, when you swing like that at a changeup, you're very lucky you didn't hit it, or else it would be an easy out. Horrible pitch, but he went after it. It's a strike. He delivers. And he struck him out. The side is finally retired. So they add five more to the total and widen that gap. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Punto at the plate. And an RBI single his last time to the plate. Here's the first pitch. And he lays one down here. Washburn. And his throw gets him. One away. Right fielder. Number two. And it's Denard Span. Lifetime record one for 13 off Washburn. And here's the pitch. Span makes good contact. And it's starting to head out towards the wall. He's thinking extra bases. The throw. And safe at second. No problem. Well, a good job right there getting on base here with one away. Standing on second base. Now a single will score him. First delivery to Young. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. You've got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and he came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sailed on him. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And they got to him in time to tag him up. And they get that run in. 
They were able to get the out at first base, but I'm not sure they should have tried to cut down the runner at the plate. And Maurer ready for the first pitch. Ground ball towards the second baseman. Back up. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. They pick up a run on one hit, nobody left. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Crook, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Rios is batting. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. First pitch on the way. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. As he retreats back for it and gets the up. Number 12. It's going to be Przinski. One of the best batting averages in the league. One out, nobody on. Swung on and missed, 0 and 1. Here it comes. And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. He got that slider in the strike zone. He got the hitter out in front to swing early. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. I tell you, that kind of that kind of breaking ball in the low 80s is awfully tough to hit. And here's Martinez. And one of the top 10 averages right now. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch. 0-1. Well, he's getting a job done this year, no question about it. Such production, so consistent. And that's a strike. Mark Tian's going to have to take very close approach on the next one. There's a swing and a line drive. And in there, three for three ball game. And mark your calendars this Friday. It's going to be the Red Sox on the road. They find themselves at the Rangers ballpark in Arlington to take on Texas. Action gets started, 8 Eastern. Here's a chance to capitalize RBI for Jim Tomey. Doubled home a run in his last at bat. Well, big production in this ball game. Already driving in a couple runs and a major factor in this offense. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Now he swings. Hits this one high in the air. Deep left center field. Over the wall. Goodbye. And two run homer. This is Johnny Damon at the plate. Number 18, Johnny Damon. Ace is empty and two down. First pitch on the way to Damon. Strike Swing and a miss. Strike one. Well, you know that taco you had before the game, Steve? I think uh, I think we've got a full fiesta going early in this one. I think that we do, and, and now you're getting me hungry just thinking about it. Here's the delivery. Johnny Damon on a swing and a miss. That's going to be strike three. Brian Dunsing comes off the mound. We're through four in Chicago. On screen, look at the guy in charge, Ron Gardenhire. And a bit of frustration at this point, not the game he'd hoped, at least now. And so Michael Kadaya leads it off. First pitch to Kadir. Oh! That one goes foul. No balls, one strike. Washburn swing and a miss. He's behind 0 and 2. And Kadir misses strike three. Gary threw a two seamer. Here's K Camp. Well, he just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought the uh, timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the other time. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. And the first pitch popped into foul territory down the left side. 
Good effort there, but he couldn't get into position to make that play. And Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They pounded a fastball down and in for a strike. And it's caught by Ramirez. Here's a look at what's coming up for the White Sox. Finish up this Minnesota series on Thursday. We take on the division rival Tigers. It's a team in a little bit of a slump lately. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Following that, a division rivalry. They'll face the Twins. Team they beat in the previous series between the two. So a couple of tough series on the way for them. And it's J.J. Hardy at the plate. Two outs, bases empty. Hardy settles in first pitch. Swing, hot shot. Washburn. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. Nobody left on base. No runs or hits here in this half inning. The White Sox still ahead. Batters two through four coming right up. For those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. And one of the league's most prolific hitters in the top five. First pitch, here it comes. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0 and 1. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate, day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. And it gets through. That's his third hit of the game. Four times up. And that'll bring up Paul Canerco. Well, Alexi Ramirez's season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Second double, third most in hits. And as you can see, that ability to make contact is there, hitting for a very high average, ranked among the top 10 hitters in the league. Runner on first, no outs. And he starts Canerco out. It's 0 and 1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. He's two for ten lifetime against Brian Dunson. And Paul Canerco watching that one go by to even the count up. Well, a lot of guys would swing at that pitch right there, that change up down in the strike zone, but the hitter luckily stayed off that one. Now Maurer positions himself, and Paul Canerco strikes out, could not make contact. You have to be able to use your fastball in the major leagues, and this guy clearly can use that fastball throwing the low 90s, a very effective pitch. And out on the mound, we've got John Roush. They've decided it was time to make a change here. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Get a chance to see the tallest pitcher ever to pitch in the major leagues, John Roush, coming in six foot 11, 291 pounds, and that 291 may be optimistic. He's a big dude. But he has an intimidating presence on the mound. He's not a big-time strikeout pitcher. He relies upon movement and location. But still a guy that has great angles on his release. Down on strikes there. A nice piece of pitching work. Well, K Cam's going to show us the four-seam fastball here. Rush with a pitch. Swing and a miss for strike one. Well, I'm going to try to get the third out of this inning right here. Just get it out however you can and feel like it's at least a moral victory in this game. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. This is a one hopper off the wall. There's the throw. Ramirez around third, headed to the plate. And he gets there all the way from first. Up to the plate. Nice piece of hitting right there. He manages to drive that at a 0-1 pitch for a base hit. Good patience, good pitch recognition. Sure looks like the hitter decided he wasn't going to get behind 0-2. He was going to wail. Oh, he was aggressive, no question about it. Got a pitch he could handle and took advantage. Starts Rios out. Here's one that's in there called strike. Now his two RBIs helped contribute to the offense in last night's ball game. Right. Swung on and missed behind now 0 2. 
Well, apparently he's looking for something a lot harder than that four seam fastball. I don't know what else he has because he's way out in front. You're There's out. a swing and a miss but he's headed for first. The throw and out the catcher makes the play. Oh, it's a great play Gary pitch in the dirt gets away from the catcher does a great job retrieving the ball and gunning him out at first. If you're a pitcher you never want those strikeouts not to get recorded good play to be able to get the out at first base. So they score. Eyes again taking a look at you right there. Satisfied manager I think right now he's got the ball club in a pretty good spot. Washburn set and delivers. And Ramirez feels the ball. Over to Canerco. That's one away. Well, Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. And that's six in a row that he set down. And here's the first one. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And Ramirez feels the ball. Over to Canerco. Two men have been put away. Oh, Gary, he's pitching well right now. And that's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. Right one. Takes that one rolling outside on one. He's just popping that glove with that four-seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. Right down. And Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. I don't think he's going to waste any time right now. He's just going to go right at him with that 0-2 pitch. Drilled towards the hole, and that's going to do it. Canerco's there, and they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. The White Sox still ahead. Leading it off, A.J. Krasinski. He's a big home run guy, top ten in the league right now. A.J. Krasinski. Here's the first pitch. Strike one. Roush got him to swing on one. Consistency, professionalism. He never seems to give up in it back, Gary. He's so locked in this year. And that's a strike. A.J. Przinski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. A swing and a miss. Strike three, but a chance at first. No, oh, and he got him. What a throw. He gets the play at first base. So Gary, as soon as the pitcher lets go of the ball, he knows what can happen in this situation. He's hoping his catcher can stop it and get the out in time. Great heads up play. There's a big two right there. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Called strike 0 and 1. For his career, 254 against the Twins. Pitch on the way. Called strike at its own two. Swing and a miss. Slider two down. Here's the slider coming right at you, KKM. Get a better look at that. Fantastic piece of pitching to get that out done. Well, that's the part of pitching you love. He's looking for a fastball. He's expecting a fastball. And then just drop one right off the table. What a pitch. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Back there in deep left center. And it's going to be Young. That one's grabbed. Side retired. Three up, three down this half inning. Up next, it'll be the twin. It'll be the leadoff man trying to get things going here. It's Denard Span. He'll lead off the seventh. Number two, Denard Span. Washburn set and delivers. Fastball too low. One and oh. Look, Gary, with this big a lead here in the seventh inning, it's incumbent upon the pitcher to throw strikes, get outs right now. Hit sharply down the line. And in there for a base hit. He's three for four today. Now up to the plate. We Set talk about a guy who's swinging it right now Set as good as anybody. That's his third 20. hit of the ball game thus Delman far. Young. Let's see if this can mount a rally with nobody out. Now Delman Young batting with the runner on first. Drove in a run earlier in the game. First delivery to Young. Ball. Washburn set and swung on hit. And he scoops it up. The second there's one. Back to first, not in time. One and two won't get it. Heads up play by the pitcher, showing his athleticism, wheeling to get the lead runner at second. They just couldn't turn two. Ball. Low for ball one. Okay, one out here in the seventh inning. I mean, you have to like the way this is going. 
They're looking good. The pitcher's throwing strikes. The defense making plays. They've got a big lead. Everything feels good. Oh, two and one now. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Now the 2-2 pitch. Fouled off. Oh. How about the catch by the fan in the stands right there? Boy, he just went into his uh, fan crowd there and snagged that baby away. It was a great play. He should have seen it. He had his eyes shut. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And it's in there. Oh, that one did not come too soon for him. He's had a very tough offensive day. Up to the, plate. the opportunity for offense is right now. This could be demoralizing for the pitcher. You have an at-bat that goes that long, and you think you had him a couple times, and he fouled off some tough pitches, and he ends up getting that base hit. He really has to refocus himself and settle down. Young, the round third, headed for the plate. And Young's home. A big-time hitter at the plate. And you know what? He didn't get the base hit, but he was able to pick up a run. A productive out. That's what good teams do. A runner on first with two outs. First pitch on the way. Oh! Fastball runs inside. One and oh. Washburn set and delivers. Swing and a bouncer up the middle. And he'll step on the back. That'll do it. Well, they pick up a run on two hits and leave no one off. Minnesota, they've started down the right track. Still a ways to go as they've got a... And so Johnny Damon leads it off. A couple of RBIs thus far. Now they're winning here, Gary. One of the reasons why is because he's driven in a couple runs in this one. Well, this is a good move right here. You're bringing in the better defensive player for the guy who could be a little suspect in the outfield. Defense helps you win games. First pitch on the way to Damon. Now swinging a shot toward second. That's one down. Let's check out the teams leading the way in runs scored. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Yankees second. Third spot, the Red Sox. Indians fourth. And for the Orioles, they are fifth. Well, leading the league in runs scored, that means they score runs in a lot of different ways. They have power. They have speed. They can manufacture runs. They can really find ways to score in any way possible. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0-1. Oh uh, nobody on base right now with one out, and that's what you need. You need outs and maybe a break from base runners for a little bit here. How about a quick inning to get back in and score some runs? Out of here, a home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Gary, he drove that hanging slider deep out of the ballpark. Good swing. And here's Paul Canerco. Paul Canerco. One out, faces him. And he starts Canerco out. Cut on and missed 0 1. And Steve, uh, this is the point of the ball game where you are really putting it to the opposition. The long ball can do that to you late. Well, there's no question. When you get up those home runs and it just inflates your own team, so offense ruling the day. Well, he's just putting on a show now. It's not fair. Three home runs in one game. You know, you get to this point, Steve, everybody starts thinking about the next at bat. That, did he do a fourth? Base is empty, one out. First pitch to Quinton. Fastball bounces to the plate that time. Hot shot towards the hole. And he steps on first. That's the second out. And Beckham's in the box. He doubled at his last appearance. Base is empty with two outs. Rush with a pitch. Harris picks. Throws to first in time. That's three down. So they get the long ball working as they have two solo homers in this half of the inning. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. J.J. Hardy up. 
try it again here. Just one for three thus far. Hardy settles in. First pitch. Fastball misses away. One and oh. Well, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. In there, two balls and a strike. Well, when you throw the fastball, that's where you want it to go. Now you can elevate a pitch next time around. He watches the fastball go by. Now it's two and two. And that's hit Damon to field. And in there, second hit for him in the ball game in his fourth plate appearance. Now back. That brings up Brendan Harris. Second well, a good piece of hitting right there. And anytime you get your first hitter of the inning on base, it could set up the potential for a big inning. Up the middle. And he gathers this one. And there's one. And two. Double play. Gary, get a chance to look at this double play and the replay. And this is an outstanding effort to make the catch, get to the bag, and make the throw. That's a rally killer. And that's going to deny the chance at a big inning here. Here's the first pitch. Fastball is downstairs. One ball, no strike. Uh, Gary, I think right now that uh, you've got to consider trading outs for runs if, if you're pitching. I mean, you're listen, they just keep getting outs right now. You're the countdown's there. You only need four outs left to win this ball game. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Now time for the White Sox. This is their chance in the home half of the eighth. Shot of Ron Gardner. Uh, tough decisions, maybe, or maybe not. This bench needs some inspiration. He'll try to give it to him. You know, Gary, I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly as solid defensively as the one he's replacing. So, interesting move. Rush with a pitch. The deep right center. This one into the alleyway should be extra bases. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. Well, just what his team needed. He continues to swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game, and he's on with no outs. Chance to drive it around A.J. Krasinski. Hole for four in this one. No outs. Runner on second. And here's the first one. He swings on that 0-0 delivery. Misses the fastball. Strike one. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He's in the hole. Two strikes. This pitcher being very aggressive throwing strikes. I think he's going to try to get him to chase. Strike three called on the fastball. What a way. He's got some real giddy up on the fastball today. It's got that good late action in the zone. That's his fifth strikeout on the fastball. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Miss ball one. Ready with a 1-0. Right. On the outside corner, 1-1. One one. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four-seamer down and away. Strike, Strike two. two with a swig and a miss on a fastball. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. There's a swing and a liner. Base hit, maybe two. Rios will head to the plate. And the run is in. How about it? Well, with that hit right there, he's got the single cover, a double cover, and the triple cover. Let's see if he can go yard to complete the cycle. One down, runner at first. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. And he gets this one by him on one. Just faced each other a couple of times. 0 for 2 against Rush. Can't catch up with it. 0 and 2. The pitch. He can't connect on that. Jim Tomei up empty on a swing. And he only got to see three pitches. Now, unhittable pitches, but he saw them nonetheless. Boy, that's a tough at bat for the hitter. He's got to walk away almost before he even got there.
First pitch on the way to Damon. Takes that one. Roush has him on one. When you throw that breaking ball, you want to throw it down in the zone to get the hitter to chase or just get the bottom of the zone for a strike. That's what he did. Strike two. Swung on and missed. Strike two. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. It's off the wall and left. There's the throw. Tien's on his way home. And he will score. Great base run. A big two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help his team win. With a runner on second, Alexei Ramirez. He is just a triple shy of the cycle now. Well, it's the toughest leg of the cycle to get, but if he hits it into the gap, look at him run. Strike, Strike one. one, Roush got him to swing on one. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter, swung late. Strike and two. it's 0 and 2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Fastball swung on and missed, side retired. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. The White Sox continue to run away with this ballgame. Taking account of the ball game, there's Ozzy Guillen. Great game his club has put together. Things have gone really well. And here's the first one. Swing and a hot shot. Over to Conerco. That's one down. Uh, just having some difficulty right now trying to make up this ground. And, and obviously they've got a hill still to climb. And running out of time right now, only two outs remaining. So they've got to get something going and keep it going. Swung on, hit. And that's a base hit. Span on board now. Well, they just can't figure out a way to get this guy out. That's now four hits for him in this game. Simmons up at the plate. Washburn set and delivered. Oh. Swung on, and that's foul back. Oh. That misses for a ball. Well, the starting pitcher right now is over 80 pitches, and this is a time when the manager and the pitching coach have to keep an eye and see if his velocity is dropping. If it is, you might want to think about getting him out. And they get it. They turn two. White Sox win this in a lopsided victory. Dominating performance, Gary. Now we'd like to grant the Pepsi Clutch Performance Award now. Great mound work, Jared Washburn. Well, any starting pitcher will tell you that the last thing he wants to ever have to do is to turn the game over to the bullpen. They like to finish what they start, and that's exactly what he did today. He had all his pitches working, and he had complete command of the strike zone out there. He kept his lineup in check for the entire game and finished it strong. Steve, it seemed like they knew from the get-go they had it. This was going to be their day, and they were right. Uh, you and I like the close games just because there's a little more intrigue for all nine innings, but the hometown fans, they like the offensive explosion and the big win. Now well, that time again. Thanks for being with us today, Major League Baseball. For Steve Phillips, John Clark, and the rest of our great 2K sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. Thanks, everybody.